If there's an absence or a lack of understanding of what Sharia is, of what Islamic jurisprudence is, I, do, I think it will be very difficult to, to pin a true understanding of what jihad actually, um, of what jihad actually is. Uh, I think one of the issues that has led to the, to the, the creation of, of an ideology such as the ideology of ISIS and other like groups is the absence of, of intellect and art. Uh, Amir Abdel Qadr is often introduced to Western uh, readers or, or audiences as a freedom fighter, uh, but he is not really introduced as an intellectual, as a theologian, uh, as a scholar of, of Islamic theology and, and Islamic jurisprudence. And I remember so many instances when I was first introduced to Amir Abdel Qadr, uh, not as a, a freedom fighter, but in a classroom where his opinions and his views on the world and his jurisprudence, uh, his jurisprudence was uh, used um, as, as a proof in, a, in, a, in, a, in an intellectual sitting in a classroom to back a lot of the ideas and a lot of views that, um, uh, that has, has made me who I am uh, today and have given me my, my, helped me form my worldview. Uh, a worldview that is totally opposite to the worldview that is introduced. Um, again, I, uh, I use the word ISIS and as though they are the only, solely representative of this worldview, but it's a, a worldview that creates this dichotomy in the world and <coughs> wants to separate uh, Muslims from the rest of the world, um, and it is um, very, very damaging to our to, to humanity in general.